You know three things about me. I'm a speaker, an entrepreneur, and a magician. This game is called Truth or Lie. I oh, hope that hands in pockets, slightly dishonest. Um, <laughs> we just, just took it out, obviously, so. Once, twice, you literally see it go into my hand and just point to it. You, good, you saw that one, didn't you? you? You actually saw it. Yes, you did see it, yeah. That's so cool that you saw it. But don't even move my hands, it's gone. This is crazy, isn't it? Right? He's like, no, no, don't, don't laugh. You, don't, don't laugh, you would have fell for it too. What was the problem that she could not solve? Where did the tissue go? This guy's bloody amazing. I was like, oh, I'm a mind reader, Jody. I can, yeah, I can tell. She could not solve the problem. However, every single one of you in this room could. Why? Perspective. You had a different perspective. Every single time I encounter a problem, the reason I cannot solve the problem is because I've fallen victim to a silo mentality. I started to look at the problem only from one perspective, my own perspective. And I think to myself, there is no way to solve this. Had I asked somebody else and got a completely fresh perspective, I would have realized nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, the solution is this clear. Now this next part, please do as quickly as you possibly can. Take the point there, go to your cheek, turn to the person next to you, say that's your chin, not your cheek. And hang on, hang on, I saw some of you go, wait, 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 what? <laughs> doesn't count, doesn't count, it means you still fell for it. Far too often, you see, my friends, in our lives, we look at a challenge that is before us. Before we even inspect that challenge, we label it as being impossible. Before we even try and take that first step, we label it as being, cannot be done, too hard, can't, can't do it. As a magician, I understand a thing or two about illusions. And I can tell you now with absolute certainty that the biggest illusion you'll ever experience in your life is not a, a piece of magic that I perform for you. The biggest illusion you experience in your life isn't even from David Copperfield, and he's amazing. It isn't. The biggest illusion you ever experience is when you tell yourself something cannot be done. It is not real. You create that. Don't make your decision yet. You know this is about influence, so don't let me influence you. Just put the coin in the hand that feels right to you, okay? And the hand that's... <laughs> And Gary, the hand that you have left, you can just leave that one empty. <laughs> Everybody who goes right first always changes to the left. Okay, okay so just do what feels right. Okay. <laughs> She's thinking, it's a bluff. But then now, immediately into his mind, he goes, well, hang on a second, wait, is it a double bluff? <laughs> and then we think to ourselves, is it one of those legendary triple bluffs that you never hear about? <laughs> Influence is real. Influence is one of the most powerful forces in life. And up here, you just witnessed a demonstration of what they call linguistic influence and visual influence. You are the direct reflection of the top five people you spend time with. You get to choose who you want to become. You get to choose what your business becomes in the future by the people you collaborate with. People will see things within your industry you cannot see yourself. Collaboration is not only within our own industry. Collaboration is something that's so critical, we collaborate outside our own industry. That's where innovation comes from. In 1907, a magician performed this in the UK, and he made the world believe that psychic powers were real. I wanted to perform what he performed. How could he make the world believe that? I thought it was crazy. I want you to pretend you do have psychic powers. Uh, yeah, thank you. So just pretend you do, just, let's just imagine, and I want you to hold one hand up like this, and in a moment I'm going to get you to send the first letter to everybody here in the audience. So just kind of look at everyone and just set, maybe use both hands, it's better for reception, obviously. Um, <laughs> yep. And just, just begin over there, Nick, if you don't mind, and just kind of scan through the audience members, just guess a letter as we look at this. Just guess a letter. Yes, good, thank you. Perfect. Was that weird? <laughs> if I get this wrong, it's, it's, it's obviously Nick's fault, so. What was the word? Yes, nice and loud. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck, of course it was. Big round of applause, it was. Thank you so much, Nick. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Brilliant. Good, thank you. Why would you want to be realistic? Why would you want to be realistic? Because being realistic is the most common path that leads one to mediocrity. Be unrealistic with your goals. Believe that anything can be done. I would not be here if I genuinely did not believe that this life was possible. My dad has this philosophy that he has embedded in me all my life. He says to me, son, the fact that you're alive is ridiculous. It took millions of years of serendipitous events for you to exist, millions of years. And now that you're here, son, you're here for 86, 87 years on average. 
you're alive for one minute and you've already lived 20 seconds of it, what will you do with the 40 seconds you have left? You need to jump as high as you can in life. Good luck, my friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.